Hey guys, it's Miss Tran, and today we will be reading Biggest, Strongest, and Fastest. So, let's get started. Alright, so this book, Biggest, Strongest, Fastest, is a non-fiction book. And the author's purpose for writing this book is to teach or inform readers about the different animals around the world. Animals live all around us. They crawl, walk, run, hop, swim, and fly. Some animals are too small to see without a microscope. Others, like the blue whale, are bigger than a house. There are animals that move as fast as a car and animals that would need half an hour to cross the room. Here are some of the biggest and smallest, fastest and slowest, strongest and longest animals. They are the record holders of the animal world. The African elephant is the biggest land animal. So right here, this is called a caption, and the caption is usually located by a picture or a photograph. And the purpose of a caption is to give more information about the picture or photograph. So let's see here. The largest elephant ever measured was more than 13 feet tall and weighed 22,000 pounds. An African elephant eats over 300 pounds of grass or leaves every day. The smallest animal for its size is the ant. An ant can carry five times its own weight. A strong man can carry something that weighs as much as he does. The tallest animal is the giraffe. Male giraffes grow as tall as 19 feet. The females are a little shorter. With their great height and long flexible necks, giraffes can eat leaves that other grazing animals cannot reach. The blue whale is the biggest animal that has ever lived. A blue whale can grow to be 110 feet long and weigh over 168 tons, as much as 20 elephants. Even the biggest dinosaur was smaller than a blue whale. The entrusted shrew, the world's smallest mammal, could sleep in a teaspoon. From the tips of his nose to the end of its tail, this shrew is only two and a half inches long. It weighs about as much as a ping pong ball. The smallest bird is the bee hummingbird. The bee hummingbird is an acrobatic flyer that is only three inches long. It weighs one thirtieth of an ounce, less than a dime. The sun jellyfish is the largest, excuse me, is the world's largest animal. Sun jellyfish have tentacles over 200 feet long. They drag these poisonous filaments through the water to stung fish, which they then catch and eat. The largest kind of spider is the bird spider. The bird spider measures almost a foot across and has a poisonous bite. It spins a very strong web to trap the birds and large insects it eats.
The cheetah can run faster than any other animal. A cheetah can reach speeds of over 60 miles an hour, but only for a few hundred feet. When it catches, excuse me, when it chases another fast animal, such as an antelope, the cheetah must catch it quickly. The electric eel gives the strongest shock of any animal. An electric eel can give a shock of up to 650 volts, over five times the voltage needed to light a standard household light bulb. This is enough electricity to give a serious shock to a horse or other large animal. The land snail is one of the slowest animals. Some snails can move only eight inches in a minute. At that speed, the snail would need five and a half days to travel one mile. Fortunately, the snail with this hard shell does not need to run away from danger. There are many kinds of large snakes, but the anaconda is the biggest. Anacondas can grow to be over 25 feet long and weigh 400 pounds. They wait, they wait in trees and drop onto their prey. A hungry anaconda can swallow a whole deer or goat. The flea is very small, but it is the world's best jumper. The flea is only 1 16th of an inch tall, but it can jump eight inches into the air. That is about 130 times its own height. If a five and a half foot tall woman could jump as well as a flea, she could leap to, she could leap to the top of a 65 story building. The Galapagos tortoise lives longer than any other animal. Galapagos tortoises can live to be over 150 years old, about twice as long as the average person can expect to live. All right, so that is the end of the book. Again, this is a nonfiction book, and the author's purpose of a nonfiction book is to teach or inform us information about all the different animals around the world. So go ahead and complete the graphic organizer, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.